Hello, it's Mike Less, and I am at Schmidt Machine Company in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, and I am going to talk about the power takeoff shaft on a versatile 260 through the 310. These tractors have a factory option where you can get a two-speed PTO, such as a 540 or a 1000, or just get a 1000 uh, RPM PTO only. And this question comes up quite a bit. How do I change it? How can I tell if my tractor has the dual speed or the single speed? So I am going to show you right now. So let's walk around to the back of the tractor here and see what this tractor has. All right, when these tractors are shipped from the factory, they have a safety cover over the PTO. And this brings up another good thing. Uh, people want to remove this cover. And to remove that, this actually just screws out. So you just turn that. Have had people take these four bolts out and pull the whole thing off. If you do that, it's not the end of the world, but you're going to add a little time to what you was trying to do here. So we just want to remove this cover. So we'll screw that off, get that out of the way. Okay, this tractor does have the dual speed PTO. The easiest way to tell or the way I can tell that, this snap ring in here. If you see a snap ring back here, you have the two speed PTO. So we can take that snap ring, pair of pliers, squeeze that, pull it out, and pull that shaft out. Now you're not going to have a bunch of oil come out. You don't have to worry about that. You're going to have your 540 shaft, which will come with the tractor if it has the dual speed option. That'll be in the cab of the tractor, should be in the cab of the tractor. So we can simply, again, take our pliers, remove the snap ring, pull the shaft out. Sometimes you may have to take like a dead blow hammer or something and kind of tap this and work it a little bit, but it should just pull right out. Then we can stick our 540 shaft in. We might have to tap it in a little bit, the final bit, and then get our snap, take our pliers, get our snap ring, push it back in. and it goes into a different set of gears inside the tractor so there's not a gearbox or a button or anything you have to go to to change the speed of the PTO so you don't need to worry about that the two-speed PTO is a factory installed option only because the housing is different so this is not something you can field install on these tractors uh, also you can get both sizes of uh, 1000 PTO shafts as well you can either get the uh, inch and three eighths or inch and three quarters. So the small thousand or the big thousand you can install in these as well. And to change that, you would have to do the same thing, pop the snap ring out and add the other and, uh, go on from there. All right. Uh, this tractor is just sitting here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on. And now we're going to walk over to a tractor that does not have the dual speed PTO. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to walk over here and look at this Versatile 335. Now, the Versatile 335 and 365 front wheel assist tractors do not have the dual speed option. They are 1,000 only. However, you can change this. It comes with the big 1,000 shaft. You can change it and put the small 1,000. So you can go from the inch and 3 quarter to the inch and 3 eighths or vice versa. But to do this, there's not a snap ring. So you got to be careful here. Please refer to the operator's manual. But you're going to remove them four bolts around the PTO housing. And you're going to screw two of them into the threaded hole there. That'll pull your housing back and pull it out. But right above that, you see them big two bolts there. You want to remove them, and there should be longer bolts that come with the tractor that you will actually thread in once them two bolts are removed. And that will hold the gear inside and hold it from uh, moving and falling down to keep everything lined up. But again, like I said, please refer to the operator's manual. And this video is just to help you determine which one you have and how to do it. All right, and like I said, please refer to the operator's manual if you're going to do that. But uh, just pointing out a couple things that uh, I do get questioned on. Again, thanks for watching this video. And here's some bonus footage. Here is a 260 that has the dual speed PTO option. And I am out here with Tyler from Coons Equipment in Arthur, Illinois. And we're actually going to change this one from the big thousand to the small thousand. But in theory, this is, uh, this is the dual speed. So this is the way you would change the 540 to 1000 combo as well remove the snap ring and i don't believe this shaft has ever been out of this tractor we had to work this one a little bit with a dead blow hammer and uh, some penetrating oil but we did get it out just took a little bit longer oh it's just rusty
Just a five minute job.